Good morning, Bird Brains. No, the title is not clickbait. I'm selling the Dyna. Here's why. So I've already had some comments on Instagram and other social media sites where I've already released this information that uh, people were saying, oh, I called it. If he was going to get a bagger, then he was going to, you know, be a geezer and sell the Dyna. I knew the fate of the Dyna was sealed. No. <laughs> I, as much as I love my my Rogue Line, I, I really do love that bike. It's definitely no Dyna. It's definitely no performance bike. And of course, I'm not going to build a bagger to a performance bagger. We've already discussed that. And no, there is nothing wrong with the Dyna. She is still healthy and fine. But let's kind of take a step back as to what I was planning on doing with the Dyna compared to what the plans turned into. So in case you missed the last few episodes of talking about what I was going to do on the bike, essentially I had made the decision to go ahead and kind of go balls out on the Dyna, go, you know, stage two, chain drive, all that good stuff. Part of me just thought that, uh, I don't know, it didn't feel right. I feel like the bike is at a very good spot right now and it, it's, it's a solid bike. I mean, it's it's quick, it handles great, it's in great condition, it looks good. And part of me was just thinking like if I, you know, stage two this thing and throw a chain drive on everything like that, I almost feel like I would ruin, not ruin, but disturb the initial build that we did. I don't know, it feels, I, I, I'm having a hard time putting this into words now that I'm saying it out loud, but I just feel like the bike is good where it's at. And really guys, it just comes down to the fact that I thoroughly enjoy building. I know people get mad when I use that word building. I really enjoy doing stuff to bikes. And I know that sounds counterintuitive because we just talked about how we were, you know, going to do stuff to this bike, but I still, I saw a ceiling on it and I don't know, I felt like, I felt like the amount of time and money I'd have to put into this second season of the Dyna Build series just wasn't going to be fulfilling to me personally. And also the whole, if you love something, let it go theory came into play and I, I kind of have to sit back and realize that like literally tens of thousands of people watch me build this bike and like how this bike looks and I have gotten a lot of enjoyment a lot of fun out of it but at the same time it's like I, I don't have any sort of what's that word sentimental value with this bike I mean I do have some don't get me wrong I do love this bike and I'm going to be sad to see it go but it's definitely not on the level that the Sportster was uh, it, it wasn't my first Harley or anything like that granted it was a it was definitely my biggest build series on the channel to date um, I'm pretty sure that the road glide is going to surpass it and maybe the new build series that will be coming from this will surpass even that so to address that giant elephant in the room yes there will be a new bike yes it will be a Harley yes there will be a new build series it really just made financial sense also i know a lot of people are saying oh you should just you know pay it off and keep it yeah maybe in the long run that would be a smarter idea like 20 30 years this thing will probably be a collector's item at some point but i'm just I, i'm not that kind of person i don't think i've ever kept a vehicle longer than two three three and a half years i think is my longest i've ever kept but I just, like I said, I like working on bikes. So the more that I can turn them around and uh, basically flip these bikes, the better. So speaking of financial sense, take in mind that I did not get a deal on this bike. I bought this bike brand new. Granted, I did get a good deal, but it definitely was not on the level of the Ultra or anything like that. I had zero sponsorships when this bike was built. So just keep that in mind. I paid pretty much MS. RP. I saved a little bit of money on tax. Well, not, I didn't save money on taxes, but I, I got pretty close to MSRP out the door. So granted, I got a good deal. I didn't get a great, you know, steal. 
even taking that into account and even assuming I spent retail price on all of the parts I put on this bike, which you guys know is not true, you watch the build series, I'm still coming out way ahead on this bike. Which means when the next bike comes along, now that I do have the sponsors to back me and things like that, even if I get a remotely good deal on a bike, I'm gonna be way ahead on that bike. So we might get to that point where I make enough money after a couple flips or a couple bikes that I am able to keep one. That would be awesome. But at the same time, I'm gonna go back to the, that's just not really who I am. Also, garage space is limited. <laughs> Maybe if I didn't have the Camaro and I could, you know, utilize the entire garage, that might be a, a possibility, but I like my Camaro. I don't see that going anywhere anytime soon. So with that being said, I like having the bagger, which is, you know, my cruiser, my, my mile crusher bike, as well as my lighter, more nimble, high performance bike, something I can go out and rip the hill country on. So of course, I'm not gonna give it away just yet, but uh, the next bike will be a high performance Harley that I can go and rip the hill country on. And it will most likely be bone stock. It'll most likely be brand new. And uh, I've already got a very, very interesting vision in my head. I already have some renders done and it's by far the bike that I'm most excited to build. It's by far the most personal bike to me. As far as like, it's going to be a reflection of myself as much as possible. Not really related to the channel either. Me, me personally, me outside the channel, which is extremely exciting. And I feel like it's going to bring about opportunities that I'm not really able to foresee just yet. So just very, very excited. I hope you guys are excited with me. I know each time we get rid of a bike or bring a new bike on, there is, you know, some heartburn with uh, a portion of the subscriber base, but most of the time you guys are understanding and kind of have the same vision I do. A lot of you guys just like the build series, doesn't matter what we're building. I mean, I even saw one comment say, as long as we're getting another build series, I don't care what, what we're doing with the Dyna. So I, I hope a lot of you guys have that kind of same thought process. And I, I know I talked with, with Blockhead and some of the other guys and, and they all shared the same issue. Uh, and it was with every bike too, surprisingly. I know Blockhead said that when he got rid of the Sportster, people were super pissed. And when he brought the CBR on, people People were super pissed but then the subscriber base grew and when he got rid of the CBR people were pissed so it's like you're never gonna make everybody happy so just focus on on what makes you happy and the people that are there along the way are gonna be there no matter what so in regards to selling this bike now I will say that there is already a very serious buyer pending as I'm recording this episode but it's gonna take a couple days for everything to kind of get in line uh, to go ahead and make the purchase final. So in case anything falls through, if you want to get on the list, I'm going to include the link to the Cycle Trader ad that I put out. You can shoot me an email on there or you can just send me an email at uh, vikingbird at gmail.com and uh, I'll go ahead and put you on the list. First come, first serve. Um, and then if the bike goes through, the bike goes through. If not, I'll just go down my list and see, uh, you know, who's the winner, I guess. But just know uh, this buyer I have lined up is pretty serious. Uh, I don't really see this falling through. And it's, it's going, hopefully, it's going to be going to a uh, person who's been a fan of the channel for a long time since the Sportster Build series. And uh, he's also a member of our armed forces. So that right there makes me happy. He sent me a video. Uh, he's currently overseas right now. And he sent me a video in full uniform and just saying how excited he was to, to get the bike. And that makes me feel, that makes me feel good that it's going to someone who's going to appreciate it and someone that really deserves it. And that right there, guys, is really what it's all about. I don't know if you could, you know, tell in my voice how happy I got talking about someone else, you know, getting to enjoy the bike. But I, I'm a pretty selfish person. I, I know that sounds terrible to say, but I think it's, it's better that I recognize it. But I don't usually enjoy doing things for other people. Man, I'm sounding like an asshole, but that's, it's just not something that, that gives me joy. I mean, I like, you know, 
give them back to the community of, the, of the, the bikes and things like that, but I'm not usually someone that goes out of my way to, you know, make people happy, but building up a bike for someone and, I mean, I'm not giving it to them, but giving someone else a bike they can enjoy like I've enjoyed it makes me happy. So I don't know where I'm going to take that, but I know I've mentioned on a couple episodes recently that I would like to make flipping bikes a partially full-time gig. Uh, I just feel like I'm, you know, getting in the rhythm of it and somewhat understand what I'm doing and know my limitations of what I can and cannot do. And I'm really enjoying the design aspect of it. I don't have artistic abilities, so when I'm, you know, drawing out the design, it's not spot on, but it's close enough to see, you know, what's going to look good, what doesn't look good, in my personal opinion. And I mean, so far, I mean, considering this deal goes through, both the Dyna and the Iron have had a buyer lined up in less than 36 hours of them going up for sale. So I Obviously, I'm doing something right, and if I could keep that streak going, I don't know. Maybe I can uh, find a way in the numbers to to make that happen. But as of right now, guys, this might be one of the last rides you see on the Dyna. I know I've got at least one video coming out after this for the uh, Giddy Up Chopper show, but this might be one of the last, guys. So if she does end up selling and going through, of course, I will make a video over that and uh you know document that whole process wish her a fair goodbye but for now it's uh it's just on to bigger and better things like i said guys i'm i'm not slowing down this next project ah i'm so excited for it yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments hopefully you guys are on board with me other than that that is it for today's video if you like this video go and hit that like button if you haven't already go ahead and punch that subscribe button and as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.